Well, last time Lakeland News caught up with Stephen Hobson of Brainerd. He was undergoing a new treatment for hepatitis C. For 12 weeks, he took the drug Harvani once a, once a day by pill and no longer detected the disease. Our Chelsea Brown caught up with Hobson to see where he's at just a year later. But then from there, we went to Grindelwald, Switzerland. We had a beautiful day in Grindelwald. 63-year-old Stephen Hobson shares memories of his trip to Europe he took just two weeks ago with his son. We had a great time. Spent about a week there, nine days if you include the flight there and the flight back. His trip to Europe was a highlight in his life, but a year ago he was in a different place. It was pretty much just kind of being bummed out <laughs> and still continuing to realize day by day that I still had this disease. Hobson was living with hepatitis C. It was a game of roulette trying different treatments, but in time he was introduced to a new drug, Harvoni, that sent his life in a new direction. When I realized that Oh, I have a chance at beating this thing. And I started to feel really good, you know, about the whole idea. And February 2nd will always be a special day on Hobson's calendar. It's the day he went in for his yearly treatment to begin his new medication. And it's also the day he landed in Munich, Germany to celebrate being one year cured of hepatitis C. I think that from here on out, I'm going to try to remember Groundhog Day as being a day that I should remember because it's significant. It's the day that I started the treatment that, you know, gave me my life back. Although he doesn't have plans as of now to honor February 2nd of 2017, he hopes his story spreads awareness of this disease. And that there is hope for people that, that may be af affected by it. In Brainerd, Chelsea Brown, Lakeland News. Hobson found out about his disease when he went to apply for more life insurance back in May of 2009. Since his recovery, he's now accomplished what he set out for seven years later. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.